hi and welcome to this youtube video so in this video i will teach you how to uh, work with the django import export library so using this library we can import and export data from and or to and from our database so i could if i wanted to export all the data from my database i could just come here and hit export and then once i do that it's going to bring me to this page and from this page i can select what uh file type i would like to export it in so if i hit csv and hit submit uh, you would see that the file has already been downloaded and then once i open it you would see that it looks like this so i was i was successfully able to export the data from my database so i'm going to teach you how to do this so the first thing that we need to do is uh install the uh, P, uh, the Django import export library. So just run the command pip install Django import export. Now make sure that you are in your virtual environment. And so after doing that, we now need to add this library to our installed apps in our project. So just type in import underscore export in, uh, as one of the items in the list of the installed apps. So once you've done that, save it and close the file. The next thing that we need to do is we need to take note of whatever model that we are that we want to um, create. That is whatever um, model that we want to be able to import and export from and to. So right now I would like to import to import and export from the movie uh, model. So the next thing I need to do is take note that okay is this model that I would like to import and export to. And the next thing that you need to do is go to the admin.py file inside the app folder. Then the next step is to import this uh, library from import underscore exports.admin, import import exports model admin. Now, after importing that, we also need to import um, the model that we need. So I just uh, made a relative import from dot import models. Then the next thing that you need to do is create a class. You can call you can name the class whatever you want but this class is going to be inheriting from this library that we imported at the top import export model admin and it's also going to be importing from admin.model admin so take note that it's importing from uh, it's um, inheriting from import export model admin and admin.model admin now after doing that you can just put those those dots right after creating the class now the last and final thing that we need to do after creating this class is we now need to call the admin admin.size.register uh, method. So you type in admin.size.register and it pass in models dot you pass in the model name, but because I import I said from dot import models, I'm just saying models.movie. That is the movie is this model that I had created earlier. Now after passing in the uh, model that you are trying to um, import and export from you now need to pass in this class that was created at the top which is movie admin so remember you pass in two things the model itself and then you pass in this class that you had created earlier now remember also the class inherits from imports export model admin and admin does model admin so following these steps you should be able to um um, be, you should be able to import and export now just save your file come back to your admin dashboard and refresh the page and then it should look you should see these two buttons appear import and export now the beauty about it about this is that you can also import files that you had um that you had exported earlier for example if i click import and i choose a file I am just going to pick the one that I just downloaded recently. And then when I click open, you can see it already recognizes that it's a CSV file. So this is how to work with the Django import export library. Uh, thank you for watching this video and I am going to see you in the next one. If you have any questions and if you have any errors, you can just leave a comment in the comment section and I would reply you.